What's up guys, Chigs there from Chigs Deck Reviews. Now in this new segment we are going to be covering the latest rumours and news in the tech world. So without further ado, let's get started. So first up we have the Huawei P40 Pro rumoured to have a Penta lens camera setup by Leica. Also horizon display with squared off corners. There is also chance that the notch will be removed and replaced by hole punch cameras. We're expecting a 120Hz Full HD Plus OLED display with the Kirin 990 chipset and at least 10 gigs of RAM. 5G is rumoured to come as standard and of course super fast charging, wireless charging and reverse charging all at higher speeds. Furthermore, Huawei is now allowed to trade with the US, which means Google services is allowed. So I'm expecting full Google app support in this smartphone. And personally, I can't wait to see it launch and appear in my hands. It's rumored to be released in March 2020. Next up, Essential Phone announces it's going to cease operation and shut down. That means no support or software updates to existing customers. Now, Essential was founded in 2015 by Andy Rubin. They launched the Essential phone in 2017 and they were trying to launch the new Gem phone this year, but operations fell through and they've decided to completely stop and shut down the business. It's a shame as the Gem phone did look very innovative and I was looking forward to seeing what it's all about. The Galaxy Fold 2 is rumored to launch mid 2020. It's rumored to have a larger display, probably between 7.7 .7 inches to eight inches with a 108 megapixel camera. We're also expecting a hole punch camera this time as the notch in the first model was rather on the unattractive side. Also expecting the Galaxy Fold 2 to have the Snapdragon 865 with 5G support and the price tag should be around a whopping $2,000. The Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro is Xiaomi's next flagship. It was expected to launch on the 23rd of Feb at MWC, but unfortunately MWC is now cancelled due to the coronavirus situation. And we are now waiting to see what Xiaomi will do in terms of a new launch date. Now the Mi 10 is expected to have the Snapdragon 865 with 5G support, 12 gigs of RAM and you can expect a 108 megapixel camera. More news on the Mi 10 coming up as things develop. The OnePlus 8 Pro is expected May 2020. Rumours show a similar design to the 7T but with a slightly more curved edge just like the Galaxy phones. Now you can expect a 6.65 inch 120 hertz AMOLED display, pop up camera is gone, hole punch camera is in, maybe even an under display camera. Now you can also expect the Snapdragon 865, 5G support, stereo speakers, we're going to have IP67 or possibly IP68 certification and we may even finally get wireless charging. And if that happens, I think I'm going to have to pick up a OnePlus 8 Pro as my next daily driver. Here's one I've been waiting for. The Samsung Galaxy Watch 2 is expected to launch on or around March 2020. Now rumors state that the new Galaxy Watch will be made from stainless steel, finished in either gold or silver, which could suggest that a black model might be made from plastic to give us a cheaper option. Other rumors suggest double the storage space and you can still expect Tizen OS to be there. The rotating bezel is Galaxy Watch's best feature and I do hope they keep that in the new model and I also hope to see a bigger battery. PlayStation 5. Now rumors and a tweet by a Sony executive hints on a February 20 launch. The PlayStation 4 was originally launched seven years ago on February 20. If rumors are true, then expect a PlayStation 5 launch on February 20, which is not far off now. And I really do hope this rumor is true. A new Apple TV 4K could be coming soon with the possibility of the A12 or A13 chipset as found in the new iPhone 11. So expecting a similar design with maybe a new remote control. Also expecting support for both Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. So look forward to seeing how things develop with the new Apple TV 4K. Coronavirus will drop smartphone sales by 50%. The deadly virus has already killed over 1,300 people within only two months. Now this figure is likely to be much higher. 
Smartphone sales are affected due to the closure of both retail stores and production facilities in China. So first quarter of 2020 will see 50% reduced sales, possibly even less. Another news shows Twitter suspending a blogger's account after he talks about the coronavirus being developed as a biological weapon designed to kill masses. Now this year was supposed to be a good year for tech with 5G smartphones and lots of great innovation coming from the top brands but unfortunately the first quarter of 2020 has been devastated by this deadly virus causing lots of delays and cancellation to events and production. So Apple themselves are set to lose over $4 billion due to the coronavirus outbreak. The spread has put a strain on Foxconn's production centers and due to the state of emergency, Apple had to close its stores in China. Now the effects of coronavirus are worrying for all around the world and people need to take precaution as we do not know how long this outbreak will last and if someone in your area might be infected as the virus does have an incubation period of two weeks. So there you have it guys, that was my Tech Rumors episode one. I'm not sure if there's gonna be an episode two, that depends on you guys. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know which rumor you like the sound of and which upcoming tech are you looking forward to. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.